I think most people these days know what a Chevy Volt is. It's an electric car by General Motors. That is a plug-in extended range electric car. Now I'm careful not to use the word hybrid because a hybrid car such as a Toyota Prius is really just a gas car with an electric motor that can assist it at slower speeds. A Prius generates all of its electrical power by uh, braking, regenerative braking. Whereas a Chevy Volt, being a plug-in electric extended range vehicle, receives its charge from plugging into the grid. But it also regenerates power, which will give you a much greater electrical range than what is indicated on the display. Now normally, in the Volt when it's operating, it will show you your battery range starting at zero every time you fully charge the battery. Once the car transitions over into gas mode, the range on the battery indicator stops and even though the gas engine will cycle on and off from that point going forward, only range is shown on the gas side of the gauge. But what if there was a way that you could actually display your real electrical range, including the range that you're generating while going downhill as I am here. Well, there is actually a way to fool the volt into thinking that it is back in electric mode and it will actually switch back to electric mode without actually plugging the car in and charging it. And in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. You know, you have a little secret on how to squeeze the most miles out of your Chevy Volt, how to get your display to show numbers like this. This charge, 133 kilometers. Because most people, when they drive in their car, when the battery is exhausted after 60 or 70 kilometers, the car switches to gas. And even though it does switch back and forth from electric to gas, it never actually registers on the dashboard here. Because the car, once it enters gas mode, will never switch back to electric mode unless you stop. I discovered this by accident a couple of years ago when I'd been in mountain mode and I pulled over at a, a, a viewpoint at the summit to take some pictures. And when I turned my car off, when I turned it back on, I had like 30 kilometers of, or, or I think it was 25 kilometers of range was built up. And then, of course, as I descended the hill, that number went up, 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 up. And I figured out that if the car gets turned off and turned back on, it'll reset it back to um, electric mode. But how do you do that without actually stopping? Well, it's quite simple. When you're on a straightaway, and I would not advise you doing, doing this when you're driving around corners like this, shift the car to neutral when you're, when you're on the downhill. Once, you, once you've crested the summit and you've been in mountain mode, Shift the car to neutral. Hit the power button twice to turn it off. Hit the power button again to turn it back on. You will come back on in battery mode, then switch it back into drive. You will not lose your power steering. You will not lose your power brakes or anything while you're coasting. Uh, it's a built-in safety feature on the car. It won't happen. It's not like a conventional car. If you shut off your engine, you lose your power steering. Not on the case of this. Everything still works. I'll show it to you. I'm, gonna, I'm down to one kilometer now. I'm gonna switch it over to mountain mode again right now. So I'm gonna go mountain mode, drive mode, mountain. That's gonna put me back in gas mode and I'm gonna run because I got some hills to go up here. And in a few minutes, I'll show you switching it back and how it goes back to uh, battery mode. And we can start accumulating the battery gauge. As you see now, if you look at it, the gas mileage is now increasing. The, the battery mileage is frozen. But when I go back into uh, electric mode again, which I'll do, I've got another little little bit of hills to go over here. I'll switch it back in about 10 minutes and we'll have another 15 or 20 kilometers of accumulated uh, energy. I'll do it when I'm on the downhill so I can pick up the extra miles recharging the battery going down hills. I just wanted to show you something else for people that don't think that the, the Volt gets great gas mileage. Um, take a look at my miles per gallon there, 46.4 miles per gallon. That's on this road trip that I've just been on. I've gone 997 miles, that's not kilometers, I switched it to miles. So I can look at miles per gallon. 46.4 miles per gallon, that's going through the mountains. So when I see people say, oh, it only gets 36 miles per gallon, 37 miles per gallon, no it doesn't. It does a lot better than that. There's the computer, 46.4 miles per gallon. Even today's trip, I'm pulling 44.9. I was at 50 at one point. 
but that's before I got into the hills and I've used a bit more a bit more gas in the hills here but uh, I think we'll probably see when I, I, I have some big hills to go down we'll bring that number up a little bit when we regenerate some power but uh, for those saying it doesn't get good gas mileage it gets fantastic gas mileage I've been driving it at higher high speeds going through the mountains and I'm getting I'm still getting like 46 miles to the gallon which is pretty damn good and for the metric minded that's five liters to 100 kilometers which puts it into the Toyota Prius um, range but a hell of a lot more fun to drive than a Prius which leaves you in the slow lane you know behind the big rigs because you don't have the power to pass them okay I'm gonna see if we can switch this thing back get it go back to electric now so because I'm going down I'm not going up any hills anymore and I've been in mountain mode for a few minutes so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to neutral I'm gonna turn the power off press the power button twice to turn it off and look at that press it again we're back on in battery I picked up eight kilometers of range going down those hills and now we just switch it back into gear and we're good to go so all you do to make it switch back is uh, Put in neutral, you want to do that first because uh, you don't want the, the drive line spinning when you turn off the power. So you want to throw it into neutral which disconnects the drive train and then uh, hit the power button, you press it twice and then it'll come up and say press power button to turn off car. You press it a third time and then you press it one more time to turn it back on and it will re-enter battery mode coming out of mountain mode and now the more important thing is that the battery side goes up so now you can uh, so when you go down a big hill for example all the range I put my car in mountain mode when I was climbing a hill when I crested the top of the hill I, I on my way down I turned it off and I I built up eight kilometers of range coming down it wasn't even that substantial a hill uh, what I did earlier today uh, when I when I exited mountain mode, I had 11 kilometers of range. When I got to the bottom of the hill, it showed 31. I want to stress that you should never uh, coast down a hill in neutral because one, it's illegal, and two, you have no control or very little control of your car. Uh, going around a corner, for example, the car in neutral is going to behave completely different than it does when there is drag on the wheels from the drivetrain. So I'm only demonstrating this to show you how to get the car to go uh, back into electric mode once it has transitioned into uh, gas mode. There is another way to do it though without turning off the engine. If you enter mountain mode manually before the car transitions over into uh, fuel mode, in other words, when you've got one or two kilometers of range or one or two miles of range remaining on your uh, dashboard if you manually select mountain mode and that will start the engine and then once you crest the hill providing you haven't completely exhausted the battery going up that hill there should be uh, anywhere from 10 to 15 kilometers of range that has been recovered from the engine running at a higher than normal um, uh, idle rate to generate more power and put that reserve in the battery so then by simply pressing the drive mode indicator and going back to normal mode the car will quite often switch back to electric by itself. Once again, I need to stress I would not uh, recommend uh, doing this while you're driving. I'm just showing you how you can force the car back into electric mode. Another way, of course, to do it is you can pull over and shut the car off and turn the car back on once you've pressed that uh, summit and it'll go back to electric mode. And that's actually how I found it by accident. One other thing uh, doing this little trick will do is it will skew your numbers, report it to OnStar. So it'll give your electric range a more accurate read because normally when the car is running in extended range mode, even though the engine cycles on and off, like when you go down a hill, the engine will shut off, it does not add those miles to the electric miles reported for your stats. So by doing this little trick that I kind of learned by accident, you actually will increase your electric percentage in your stats 
Now, I'm still running on electric power. I, I, it's, I've got a lot more than the five kilometers that it said I had because I was still going down the hill when I recorded that before. It actually got up to uh, 10. And uh, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still on electric power. It says I've got two left. I'm starting to go up a hill, so I'm going to go throw it back in mountain mode now, and I'll switch it back to uh, battery mode once again once I get over this next little uh, summit. So I just went over the summit. I'm going to switch my car back to uh, normal mode now because we don't need the engine running at 4,000 RPM. And you can see. I says I've got 15 uh, kilometers of range. Now the reason why I did not have to shut my engine off or shut the car off and turn it back on is because I entered mountain mode when there was still about two kilometers of range left in the battery. If you enter mountain mode before the car transitions over to uh, gas mode, all you gotta do is push the drive button to exit mountain mode and it will switch back to electric. So now I'm gonna go down the hill and I'm going to use regenerative braking and uh, we see we're starting at 15 kilometers which is what mountain mode keeps as a reserve in the battery so you can get up any hill it puts 15 kilometers of range in and keeps it at that now uh, we're going to see what type of uh, what type of uh, range we'll end up with when we get to the bottom of this big hill well as you can see I'm still going down the hill I'm still picking up miles I wasn't even at the summit when I went out of mountain mode before. I was still about uh, six or seven kilometers. By the time I got to the summit, I was actually down to uh, one kilometer, and then I went over the summit, and now I'm up to seven kilometers. But my engine hasn't been on since I switched out of mountain mode there uh, several minutes ago. We're now at 163 electric kilometers for the day. I only had about 65 from the initial battery charge, so we've picked up close to 100 kilometers of, uh, of free um, traveling just due to the regenerative braking effect. And we're still not at the bottom of this hill. It's at 8 kilometers now and it's continuing to climb. So, um, and there's another summit I gotta go over before I get out of this, out of this, uh, this mountain road. So I'll pick up some more free miles there, just outside of Hope. But that's how you um, get a Chevy Volt to give you the absolute best fuel economy. It requires a little bit of input from the driver, switching between regular and mountain mode. And if, you, uh, if you're already in regular mode, doing the old power cycle thing there to uh, kick the car back into electric mode. That way, even though it will go into electric mode and the engine will shut off, if you want the miles to register correctly, you've got to force it back into electric mode so that the uh, the mileage will register correctly on the computer. But uh, doing that, a little bit of uh, playing around with it and uh, manual intervention, as they say, and uh, you can really make these numbers shine. And that's what the whole name of the game is. We want to make the numbers shine, especially when it comes to OnStar reporting, because you know the GM is following those stats, right? So I was waiting to see something here. I, would, I, would, I exited mountain mode when I got to the Hope Slide, because I put it in mountain mode as I was climbing the hill. Started coming down the hill. I built up 10 kilometers of range. I'm at Hope. All the way from the Hope Slide down to the Hope exit in, in electric mode, regenerating power on my way down. And I've created an extra 10 kilometers of range. Right now, for today's driving only, from Caslo to Hope, so far, if you can see that, 200 kilometers, all electric. I started out with 60 on the battery when I charged up last night. 383 is on the gas engine. 200 kilometers of electric on a volt on one charge. And I'm still going. I got another 10 kilometers at least to go. Probably won't get much more than that because I'm, I'm running on hills to generate power on, on the rest of the way home. It's going to be pretty much flat, so I'm running on gas. But uh, that just gives you an idea how much power you can uh, recover when you're going downhill. See, I'm still, I'm still sitting at 10 because I'm still going down the hill. I haven't burned any of that power up that I've, that I've uh, picked up. 
coming down the hill and I'm still going down a hill until I actually get down the hill until I start going out in the flats or going up a hill again, that'll stay. Well, it just dropped to nine. I guess the hill's starting to flatten out a bit, but still. It was at 10 kilometers that I had set, and it was at 200, and I'm now at 202 and a half. So, in two and a half kilometers, I've gone through one kilometer of battery. Okay, it's just finally switched over to gas, and again, uh, 208.4 was my final total, and I, I, I don't imagine it will go back to electric again, because uh, uh, I won't be going into mountain mode, for one because um, there's no more mountains. It's all flat from this point on, so there's no point in putting up, building up a reserve in the battery. So, um, let's say it's gonna stay at this, 208 kilometers on electric power, today's drive. I did record the totals for the other two days of driving too, so, um, or the other three days of driving, so uh, yeah. Not, uh, not too shabby, it's been excellent. But today is the longest, uh, the biggest, because I had the most mountains this time.